So there are a number of common, and then of course there are the less common causes of melanoma. At the end of the day, most melanomas are due to sun exposure. Because most melanomas are on the skin, and the sun probably accounts for the vast majority of all melanomas that arise on the skin. Not all, but almost all melanomas that arise on the skin at the end of the day are associated with sun damage. They're associated with lack of pigment, meaning someone who has a very pale complexion. Lots of freckles, which are the collections of pigment cells that to some degree grow a little bit out of control and then stop. They usually stop early in life and they kind of stay there and actually they may disappear. But sometimes those freckles, those moles can be the seed in which you find a melanoma somewhere up the road. But at the end of the day, almost all melanomas relate to sun exposure. Meaning if you took someone who grew up for the first 30 years of their life in Reykjavik, Iceland, where there frankly isn't a lot of sun, and you transplanted them to Phoenix, Arizona, where there's plenty of sun, that person would develop squamous and basal cancers of the skin at the end of their life in their 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s. But their risk of melanoma, which is generally determined by what happens in the first 30, 40 years of your life, was devoid of the sun. There wasn't much sun there. So they probably wouldn't be that likely to get melanoma, even though they might be very pale complexion, blue eyes and green eyes, blonde hair or red hair. But you take the person from Phoenix who grew up there first 30, 40 years of their life and you move them to Reykjavik, Iceland, when they're 55, they're going to get melanoma because they were a pale complexion person who saw lots of sun and had lots of sunburns. So the things that we find associated with melanoma are not just sun exposure, but intermittent sun exposure, sunburns, having lots of freckles, blue eyes and green eyes, red hair, blonde hair, those are the kinds of things that are associated with melanoma. But not all. There are other genetic inherent changes, meaning changes in the genetic material that can be associated with melanoma. For example, the sun doesn't generally hit the, the, the inner part of the eye where you can develop uvular, ocular, or what we call an eye melanoma. So it's not just the sun that causes that. In addition, you could develop a melanoma on the mucous membranes of your mouth. That doesn't see the sun. So it's not just the sun, but amazingly, the cells kind of look similar if they're caused by the sun or if they're caused by other genetic changes. But the, the end result can be the same. Melanoma can be a lethal disease, and it is lethal and can kill you if it spreads.